solving inequalities in one variable. Before we can start actually solving inequalities, we have to understand the inequality symbols. So we have less than or greater than, or we have less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to. All right, now if we want to actually graph these, then we need to know the different graphing inequality symbols. So for any of the greater than or less than ones with no or equal to's, you're going to have an open circle on that number. So you just have an open circle. And then if it's a less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, then it's going to be a circle that you fill in. Okay, so you have to be careful when you are graphing them that you use the right type of symbol. Alright, so for this first one, all we want to do is write the inequality and then graph it to make sure we get our symbols right. So all real numbers, x, less than or equal to negative 7. So those are your key things. So all real numbers, x, so I put an x less than or equal to, so my less than or equal to sign is less than or equal to negative 7. So that is my inequality. Now I need to graph that. So if I have 0 here, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's negative 5, 6, negative 7. And then if we're going the other way, we'd have 1, 2, 3, and you get the idea. It just keeps on going. So on negative 7, because it's a less than or equal to, I have to fill in the dot on negative 7. So I do a filled in circle, and then it's x is less than that. So it needs to go to more numbers that are less than that. So it keeps on going this way. And it's going to go forever, so I fill in my triangle on that end, too. So that is my graph. And this next one, all real numbers x greater than 5. So all real numbers x greater than 5. So there's your inequality. Now we need to graph it. So if we were to graph it, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, continue on, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, negative 5, so it continues on like that. So I need to put a circle on 5, and because it's not an or equal to sign, it's going to be an open circle that I put on 5, and then x is greater than that, so my x is going to fill to the bigger numbers, and then I'm going to continue that on, just like that. So there's your final answer. Okay, for these next examples, we're going to be solving and graphing the inequality. So if we have x minus 15 is greater than negative 12, we need to solve by doing opposites. So the opposite of minus 15 is plus 15 to both sides. And then when we add down, 15's cancel out. Negative 12 plus 15 is actually going to be a positive 3. So that means x is greater than 3. So now when I'm graphing that, 0, negative 3, 3, and so on. Okay, so if x is greater than 3, I have an open circle on 3, and it's going to be everything bigger than that. So I fill in that way. That's your final answer. For this next example, 
We want to solve and graph the inequality again. We have x plus 3 is less than or equal to 10. So to get rid of a plus 3, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. So I have x is less than or equal to 10 minus 3, which is a positive 7. So that is my final answer, and then I need to graph that. So when I graph that, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7. OK, so it's less than or equal to 7. So I'm going to have a filled in circle on 7 and anything less than that. So I'm going to shade less than. And that's your final answer. For this next example, we have x divided by negative 3 is greater than or equal to 2. Now, what we want to remember here is a uh, little note. When we are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, we have to flip the inequality symbol when we do that multiplication or division. So for this next example, we have x divided by a negative 3. So I'm going to multiply, because multiplication is the opposite of division, by negative 3. And when I do that multiplication, I take my inequality and I flip it to the exact opposite sign. So I flip it over, so now it's less than or equal to. So my final answer is x is less than or equal to 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. And that's your final answer. So when I'm graphing, Uh, on negative 6, I'm going to put a filled in circle because it's less than or equal to. And then when I actually shade it, it's going to be smaller numbers, so less than. So I'm going to shade to the left and continue on forever. And that's your final answer. So for this next one, we have 5x is less than 10. Now, this actually means 5 times x. So to get rid of a multiplication, you divide by that same number. So I'm going to divide by 5. Divide by 5. And then, since it's not a negative number, I don't have to flip the inequality. So I just leave it as x is less than 10 divided by 5, which is 2. Okay, and then we're going to graph it. So we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 1, negative 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, and now when I graph on the 2, it's less than 2, so it's an open circle on 2, and anything less than that. So that's your graph and your final answer. A couple more examples here. Solve and graph the inequality. Now this is a multi-step inequality, so you need to do it one step at a time. So you start, you know, opposite of order, opposite order of operations. So generally you're going to start with the plus and minus, and then go to the multiply and divide, and then go to the exponents, and then go to the parentheses. Okay, so the first thing is the 9. So I have 4t plus 9 equals 21. So I'm going to subtract 9 from both sides. If I take 21 minus 9, I'm going to get 12. So I have 4t is greater than 12. Then the next step, I have 4 times t is greater than 12. I need to get rid of multiplication, so I divide by the same number, 4. Divide by 4. So I have t is greater than 12 divided by 4, which is 3. And that is my final answer. Now I need to graph it. So
So there's my graph, and on 3, I'm going to have an open circle because it is just greater than, so any number is greater than 3. So I shade greater than. So that's your final answer. And the last problem, negative 6a minus 7 is less than or equal to 17. Okay, so the first step, again, start with the addition or subtraction. So minus, 17, or minus 7 is going to become plus 7. So I'm going to add 7 to both sides. And that will give me a negative 6 times a is less than or equal to 17 plus 7 which is 24. So now I need to solve for a, so I'm going to divide by negative 6 because it's negative 6 times a. But when I divide by a negative and it's an inequality, I need to flip my sign. So I'm going to have greater than or equal to. So I have a is greater than or equal to 24 divided by negative 6 which is going to give me a negative 4. a is greater than or equal to negative 4. So, when I am graphing this, I'm going to find my negative 4 and put a filled in circle on negative 4 because it's an or equal to, and it's greater than or equal to negative 4. So I'm going to go bigger than that. So there's my graph. So those are your notes over solving inequalities in one variable. Go through your practice problems. Make sure you can do all these different types of problems and then you might be ready for your quiz over the material.